video. Today I will be showing you what I'm packing for my ski holiday. If you've just come along to this vlog and you haven't been to my channel before, hi, I'm Georgina. I live in the UK in the Cotswolds area and do just like random vlogs of things that I do in my life, working uh, in the city and also like countryside weekend vlog type things. If you have typed in what to pack for skiing and you have landed on this video, hello, hopefully I can help you out. I am not a pro by any means, but I have been skiing a few times. I think this is maybe my 14th, 15th time. Very lucky and blessed to have been going, going skiing that long. I started when I was sick. I absolutely love it and I haven't been in a few years, so I cannot wait to pack. I am going to Trysil in Norway. Never been there before, never been to Norway before, so it's gonna be a whole brand new experience for me. The temperatures are gonna be pretty chilly, and I know that sounds obvious for a ski trip, but some of the days that we're there are gonna be in the minus 20s zone, all the way up to sort of, well, all the way down to minus 25. And it'll be very interesting to see if it continues with that sort of temperature, but I need to make sure I layer up, so let's get started with what to pack. I'm flying at British Airways, so I have a 23 kilogram hold luggage, and then I have two hand luggage. One of them's gonna be my ski boot, and the other one is gonna be a rucksack. So I'm gonna show you what I put in, and first things first, this is my very beat up, but beloved Antler light purple suitcase. Now, a lot of people think, oh, no, 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 don't go light suitcases, they'll get trashed. Okay, yeah, it's a little bit trashed, but I can tell you, I can see my bag on the baggage claim for, it feels like for miles, I can see it. It has always done me so, so well, and I'm able to spot it straight away and pick it up, so I highly recommend a light color. You can see here that it's got one of those locks that you pop your zips into, and there's a little combination, and it just makes sure that these can't be opened, and I absolutely love it, so let's start filling it. Oh, before we do that, Two things I find very important. An Apple Air tag. Once I had my luggage lost before these existed and if I could have prevented it, I would have done, but that is why I don't fly EasyJ anymore. And the second thing is packing cubes. These are such an obvious favorite. They're in like every single what I pack with me to holiday video I've ever seen. But seriously, I just got these from Amazon. A few of them are a little broken, a little bit broken, but that's okay. I just find packing and unpacking so much easier with these. And it just makes me, I kind of categorize all of my stuff. So I'll have like thermals in here and I'll have like pants in here and then like socks in there. And I can remember and just pick them out and it just makes life so much easier. I actually already have a bag packed full of ski stuff, but it's more for storage rather than for what I'm actually gonna take with me because the luggage is actually broken and it's a lot smaller than what I need. But I have this that I keep in my loft and it's got like all my ski stuff in, already in bags. So as I'm not using my ski stuff 24 seven, I find that just popping it up in the loft or the attic or whatever storage space that you hopefully have is so much easier. And then I just get it down when I'm going skiing and it kind of reminds me of all the stuff that I have that I've forgotten about. So let's go through it. The first thing I immediately thought of was thermal. If anyone is from the UK and is sort of my age, like millennial age, you will remember the absolute hole these Jack Wills thermals had on all of us. A lot of the time I didn't wear them skiing, I just wore them out, but they're like, oh God, look how skinny like they are. This one is actually like a ski one. It says seasonaires and it has some writing on the back. I think it says like Val Turan. Um, Maribel, St. Anton, I've actually been to all three of those. These are brilliant. I just about can squeeze into them still as I bought them, oh my gosh, it, over 15 years ago. So I've got three of these. I've got a gray, a navy striped, and I, this is my favorite one. Oh my gosh, it's actually still got my name, still stitched into it from when I went to boarding school, which just shows how old this is. And this is a really gorgeous like floral print and it's an amazing base layer. I also could wear something like this. This is more of a slightly thicker layer. This is my dad's from Brooks Brothers. I'm pretty sure this jumper 
slash sweatshirt is older than me. Three of these are going in the bag. I then have some TOG24 items. TOG24 is an amazing classic ski brand. I was absolutely kitted out in it when I was younger. This is my mum's and maybe some of my dad's and it's still fantastic. It's got a really great like breathable material. I'd say slightly more breathable than the Jackwell's ones. And so I've basically got, here we go, you can kind of see here. I've got uh, two long sleeved thick sweatshirts and then I have a matching pair of trousers. They are really simple, very thick leggings and these go under my salopettes, my trousers. So I've got two of them. So I have quite a few thermals. I also just wear my Lululemon, uh, are they a line? What type it is? I'll make sure I kind of post somewhere what type of leggings I wear and I find them quite like breathable, quite sweat proof and sometimes I don't need the really really thick leggings if it's a warmer day and you're going to a slightly warmer ski resort having a thinner underlayer works really really well. And the next thing that just fell out of my bag, socks! <laughs> I actually recently bought two pairs on Amazon and um, they're great so I will link those down below because I've got them recently but the rest like a lot of my stuff unfortunately I got a very very long time ago I do understand that buying ski stuff can be quite expensive if you are going for the first time and you're getting everything new yes it's going to be a huge investment but I have had this stuff so long 10 15 years some of the stuff I'm going to be showing you is just as old as me. So it really does stand the test of time. So, and I've got some plain socks here. I also think hiking socks can work. You've just got to make sure that the length of the sock goes over the top of a ski boot. So I can show you, I'll show you that one sec. So what I mean is you've obviously got your ski boot. You're, it's gonna be really uncomfortable if your sock is kind of stuck down there and when you've got all your gloves on and all of your layers it's going to be in the right pain to get them so you just got to make sure that the sock is higher than the ski boot and you'll be just fine on the topic of accessories neck scarves are an absolute must if you're going to very cold or especially windy climate i've heard that norway is quite windy and that can like really hurt you can get a windburn i've definitely had my fair share of windburn marks on my face so i have two this one is really great for being uh like sort of sweat resistant and you, there's a lot of moisture that happens when you're skiing as you are working out essentially so this is like an underlayer so i put it oh, let me do it now oh this is mickey mouse i got this when i was skiing when i was probably about nine so here's one and I wear it like this like so and then I have a nice warm one I remember I went skiing with some friends again I must have been 12 13 14 and we all got matching ones of these and I wonder if the girls still have them but this is a bottom layer like this and then keep warm like this so nice and warm and then you have your like sunglasses or goggles on top and your helmet and you are all covered. So the next thing I'm gonna show you are my salopettes, trousers and my jacket. I have three ski jackets, which is completely unnecessary, but I've kind of collected them over the years and they have different purposes. That's my justification. You do not need three ski jackets. One will do absolutely fine, but I'll show you what I have, why I love them and sort of how I'm gonna put the outfit together. This is a really great example of my base layers. I would probably have another thermal under this and then I've got some leggings on, some plain, black trousers make sure everything is tucked in if you fall over you do not want any snow up your back trust me that is the worst feeling in the world Ta -da! now this is definitely my favorite coat to wear for freezing cold weather it's amazing, it's got these like little black gloves already in them. You don't have to use them if you don't want to, but I find them really great. This is from Topshop's Range Snow, S-N-O. I believe they still sell it via ASOS. I got this for my birthday, oh, maybe seven years ago. And honestly, I love this. The jacket is so warm. Okay, sometimes I get some makeup on it, but I find that a good stain remover gets rid of it perfectly. So this section is great, again, to stop the snow coming in if you fall over. Okay, so you've got your zip and then poppers and it comes with a detachable belt. Whoops, if you like that sort of cinched in look. Ta-da! This is really great here for just extra chin protection from the wind. 
and a huge fluffy detachable hood. Look at that! It's humongous, like it's actually too big, but it's assumed that you have your helmet on as well. My favorite function of this is this section here. So this is a sleeve zip and it is just the perfect place to put your ski pass. So you can like walk up to your ski pass and just go boop and you don't have to like fiddle around for it. Outfit number one. And before I forget, of course, gloves. I actually might look to get some mittens as mittens are better for colder weather because your fingers aren't separated, therefore they are warmer. Snowboarders wear mittens quite often because they're sort of like on the floor and pushing themselves up that way. These are from Tog24. These are actually my mum's, <laughs> even though I think she only wore them skiing a few times. But they match the jacket, they're a little bit off coloured, but I'm pretty sure these are a 1999-ish purchase. <laughs> and they have done so well. Um, so yeah, these are my gloves. Okay, so my next outfit is slightly more fashionable. I absolutely love these super dry trousers. They're black with a white stripe down the side. These are a size small, and I think I got them in sale in 2000, and they're quite slim fitting, and they're just really, really flattering, and I absolutely love them. Super dry, I just checked, have a good few deals on ski trousers. I'm looking to get some white ones, because I had some Topshop snow ones, but they're a bit small now. They're a proper seller pet, so I'm looking at getting some white ones, but I'll do that for next ski season. Here we are. Nice form fitting if you kind of like that look on the slopes. This is a new purchase. I splurged on this jacket. It is from Perfect Moment. I got it in a size medium and it is a puffer that kind of goes to your hips rather than below. A lot of ski jackets kind of go to the upper thigh area. But this is a fashion purchase and I absolutely <laughs> love this print. I've been looking at this print for the past few years. Uh, an influencer I really like, Emma Leisure, she is based in Vancouver and they go to Whistler all the time. And they had a brand trip with, this is perfect like influence, I've been influenced. They had a brand trip with Perfect Moment and I saw this and honestly I was like right I'm gonna wait and I'm gonna wait till I go skiing and see if I still love it and I do I still very much love it they have incredible prints they have honestly you will not get lost with this everyone will be able to see you <laughs> oh my gosh it's so cool yee this one unfortunately doesn't have an arm thing for your ski pass, but it does have arm vents and it's got two really nice pockets. It sits so nicely on the hips. I mean, look how fashionable swish swish you are. If that is your vibe, then this is absolutely perfect. Also, I did mention earlier that ski stuff can be quite expensive. So if you wanted to rent this from me, I take very good care of my stuff and it is always perfectly clean and in great condition. And that's why I have so many of pe so many pieces since like the early 2000s still. I actually have a link to this on By Rotation. If you've not heard of By Rotation, it is, this isn't an ad by the way, I just genuinely love using this app. It is a rent, one of the rental fashion apps out there. There's so many like my wardrobe, By Rotation, her, H-U-R-R. -R. I use by rotation and I'm absolutely loving it at the moment and I was going to rent this myself and thought you know what I'm going to get some good use so I'm going to buy it myself and it is free to use for quite a lot of the ski season coming up. It'll also be ready to use for next ski season or even coming up this year. Some people ski in late November, December which is very exciting. So if you want to use this and you want to look as cool as this on the slopes then you can and I'll pop a link and I'll put it in the description down below to the direct link to where you can find it. I'd love to see you guys in this. It's, it's honestly, I'm so warm just, just talking. So I know that it's doing a good job of insulation. Also, it's kind of cool. Like if it's freezing outside and you're going for a dog walk, this is pretty neat. So yeah, check out the links below and you'll find my whole bio rotation page as well with lots of dresses and shoes and bits and bobs, but yeah. You can wear this. And the last jacket, I actually got this before my the last ski trip that I went on. This is from ASOS's own brand. And I like to call this my traffic code jacket. It is bright orange and white. No one can miss you. It also does have the fingerless like glove support here, which gives your like wrists a bit more protection from the wind. 
and this is a size small and again it just like the Topshop one it has these bits here which you can do up it has an awesome hood ah look how cool that looks so this is really awesome as well uh, instead of the arm you can put your ski pass just here when you go on all the ski lifts usually the pass detector will be on your left hand side therefore when you go through it you can just go beep, do a little dance and there you go so this is a really really neat little addition and it also has vents underneath and it has like a little belt that you can tie in not going to do it up properly and you've got two really deep pockets here for phones sun cream all sorts snacks here is the look you kind of have that continuing white going down with the super dry trousers but yeah i really like this one but i'm not going to take it with me because i don't need three ski jackets and this is better for slightly warmer climates which i'm not going to okay so that's my main luggage and i'll go through toiletries and makeup in a little bit but the next thing is so good if you have ski boots i found this amazing carry on luggage piece this is from snow leader i believe it's still in stock so if you're looking for a ski boot bag this is amazing they ship internationally as well but it has space for your ski boots in here and then in here is where your helmet goes here you are so you can probably fit a few more bits in here as well so if you have run out of space in your main luggage and you can put anything that aren't liquids in here as well so this is my helmet i've had this forever this is the top 24 white helmet it's a little bit battered and bruised but that's what helmets are for luckily not your head and then i've got some plain goggles i actually need to get some new ones these are really really old i i mean they're fine but i wouldn't recommend them because they're just so so old and i wouldn't even know where to find a pair so i need to get some more goggles if you have any good recommendations for goggles that kind of i really like the ones that you can take off the lenses so you can have them for when it's at like low visibility but also when it's really sunny so i have a little cover and then i just chuck them in my helmet to make sure that they're always together pop it back into here and zip it up in the main compartment i keep my ski boots i recently unboxed these in one of my videos a few videos ago i did a bista village vlog and i also unpacked these because these came in the same day I keep them in here to keep them nice and clean oh very naughty if you've got new boots always keep the top bits done up because otherwise the plastic underneath will stretch and it will be really difficult to put your boots on when you've got your legs in them because they would have stretched out and you need to like pull the plastic back in. These are my favourite little new babies. These are from Rossignol, an amazing ski brand, sort of as big as Solomon and Head and some of the other big ones. They are like grey with a fluffy insert and I'm just very excited to wear them. I'm going to be taking this on the plane with me unless they want to check it. Sometimes airlines prefer you to check your bags, but they won't charge you extra because technically this is within my hand luggage limit. It's got two straps. They are detachable. They are detachable here as well if you don't want them, but you've got two shorter straps and then one longer that can sort of go over your shoulder and then something that i always manage to sneak on uh <laughs> is my little lululemon boucle teddy bum bag now i wear this skiing as well so i probably would be able to fit it under my perfect moment jacket the black and white houndstooth one but the others i think they go a bit too long so it wouldn't fit but this is perfect for the essentials and what I have in here, I've got two sanitary towels, <laughs> very essential. I have my passport. I have a really cute matching set from Aspinall that have my initials on them. It is so neat. And I've got some luggage tags as well on my bag. I then have my phone in here. And then I have one of these bags. Heathrow is so behind the time. We're one of the few like major airports where we still have to put everything in a plastic bag and take them out, which is annoying. But I have like a little lipstick. I have a lip balm and I have a little Bath and Body Works anti-back uh gel and i actually keep this in this bag with me because i find these are really important when i ski as well as my spf in the back i just have some tissues so it's got a back zippable pocket like that this has two netted compartments this is a large one so this is really good for like charges and like battery packs and then you've got a small one here that is separated because it's like stitched in but I find this absolutely perfect for all the essentials. 
I don't want to fill it too tight, like too much even, and then it will just go around. Ta-da! And then for main hand luggage, I just have a humongous black backpack, really boring, not fashionable, extremely multifunctional. It has about a thousand, look at how many compartments that has. So many compartments and essentially in there I'm just putting my laptop. I always bring a spare outfit with me just in case you never know and then also all of my electrics so I'm not going to bother showing you that because it's very boring so my charger I've got my toothbrush in there a few little toiletries and then I think that might be it but yeah the laptop takes up a lot of space and so does the spare outfit. So yeah, that's in there. What I'm gonna be showing you is what I am packing in my toiletries bag. This is going in my hold case. More antibacterial, I haven't opened this one yet, but you can never have too much. And this is the perfect size and depth for your ski jacket. Dry bar shampoo and conditioner. These were little minis from Sephora. A mini superfood midnight facial. This is absolutely incredible for dry skin and I'm gonna be using this every single day. Next is this Elemis Naked Cleansing Balm. This is the mini version, even though it's still 50 grams. And um, this is perfect for just taking off any makeup, any sun cream, and just general life on your face after a day of skiing. It is so nice. When I'm feeling lazy, I love to use these Elemis Dynamic Resurfacing Facial Pads. I have the big one of this, but this is an amazing mini pack to put in your luggage. Paracetamol, an absolute must for aching legs and any headaches and hangovers. I can't get ready without these. These are just two plain black clips from Amazon. I've got them in a pack, but they're great for getting ready. If you're an anxious traveler, I highly recommend this spray from Tisserand. Lavender makes me feel so calm. And I love spraying this on my pillow before bed, and it kind of reminds me of home, so if you get a little homesick. Even though my skin is oily, this hydration mask is absolutely key for my ski holiday. I find it's a little bit of an investment, but it works so, so well, and it gets rid of any flakiness, any dry patches that I get from the slopes. A little mini shower gel in my favorite molten brown scent, Heavenly Gingerly. A little washcloth. Another lip balm. I love this one from Cordley. It's brilliant. Nail file. A little sponge to take off any excess makeup and product. Last but not least, you've probably seen this everywhere and there's a reason for it. It's the La Roche-Posay Anthelios 50 plus SPF. It is amazing. Also, it's very narrow, so perfect for going in ski jackets and trousers and bags for little top-ups on the slopes. It is my favourite thing to use uh, on holiday and I just will never go back to anything else. This is a must. If you are skiing, if you can get hold of it, fantastic. I'm sure there's lots of others out there, but for me, this is number one. And then the last thing I thought would be kind of useful is showing what I'm wearing to the airport. So I have this extremely comfy jumper from COS. It's a roll neck and I absolutely love it. I then have my Lululemon leggings, which are really plain and high-waisted and comfortable. And then I have some cozy cashmere white company socks. They are so cozy. And these aren't actually moon boots, but they are the closest thing to it. And I'm pretty sure I got these before moon boots maybe existed. <laughs> I think I got these when I was 12, but I'm actually going to be wearing these because they take up so much room in my luggage and you kind of look cool. Ta-da! And then, to top it off, I'm wearing a fur jacket. It's not real. It's from ASOS. <laughs> and this is just going to be so cozy. I have no idea how cold it's going to be when we actually get to Norway. But it means I can kind of be fashionable a little bit and not too ski, like ski bunny wear whilst I'm in the airport. And I think a ski jacket might be too warm, but I kind of want this for when we go out in the evenings. And yeah, I just thought it'd be quite cute. <sighs> I always forget something, but that is the good thing about going with a group of friends is that they're probably gonna have what you don't have. I have my deodorant, my toothpaste and my toothbrush in my hand luggage just in case and I pack them sort of on the morning of. Now I'm gonna go through my makeup bag and this might not be applicable for everyone but I still like to have a little bit of makeup on the slope. I don't wanna look 
too ratty. So I'll show you what I'm packing. I've actually got two of these bags. Uh, one I've got my other bits in, but these are from Boots. They, this is the small version. There's a larger version. And you're able to take this in your hand luggage. It is within the dimensions and within the right restrictions for most airlines. I'm going with BA. But I'm pr I've taken this everywhere. I've taken this internationally and I put all of my bits and bobs in it and it's never I never had a problem. And you just pop it in the tray and it's all good. So I highly recommend it. I'm pretty sure it's on, still on Boots. Again, I'm going to link everything that I possibly can in the description box. But yes, these are fantastic. And they're like £4. So cheap. So the powders I'm taking, I've got the Charlotte Tilbury press powder. I've got the bronzer. I know it's massive, but I love this stuff. And then I've got this Kylie blush it is so pretty and on the face with a bit of suntan is absolutely gorgeous and it's called winter kiss which i think is perfect for the snow so i don't like to do heavy makeup on the best of days but on the slopes i definitely won't be using heavy makeup this is the rose ink serum this is like a tinted serum it's like skincare plus makeup amazing this is like my fifth bottle of this for a little glow i'm just going to use the rest of my hollywood flawless filter i know what you're thinking why are you taking glass on you with a plane never had an issue i mean i say this and it's probably gonna break but love this stuff ysl brown mascara a mini hourglass veil primer this will hopefully keep my makeup on all day we'll see milk makeup bronzer i've got two blushes one goes with the kylie one and this is the rare beauty liquid blush in happy this is the new sticks cream blush in sunset strip this has got a like a brush on the other side as well so if you're looking to save space this is a great product. Two concealers. I've got a slightly darker one from Lancome and then a slightly lighter one from Etude. This is a Korean brand. So good. And also nice and slim as well. So if you're looking to save space in your makeup bag, then that's perfect. One of my favourite products of all time. This is the Chanel like cream highlight. Oh my god, this stuff is so pretty. And it is such a beautiful like top on top of makeup. And I can imagine it being on the slopes being so, so nice. Rare Beauty Lip Liner. NYX and e.l.f. eye products. Jouer Lip Liner. A little powder puff. Eyelash curlers. And some brushes. I haven't done it up because I'm being too lazy at the moment. But this is basically my makeup bag. A lot of people don't wear makeup on the slopes. And I totally get that. Like, I understand but then also there is like the apres ski and the evenings and like activities that people do when they go on a ski trip and people might like want to wear a little bit of makeup also on that point i haven't brought anything to go out in i've got a pair of jeans and that's about it and some cute jumpers because because we don't have any apres ski well there's like a few bars where we're going but that's not like the main part of the skiing if you go places like Val d'Isere, St Anton, Maribel, like a lot of places in Switzerland as well, Verbier. Really, I've never been skiing anywhere else, I've not been skiing in Canada or America or Japan or any other places so I don't know about them. There, I've, I've definitely had my fair share of really fun times there but this is more of a whole different holiday where our Airbnb is going to be like cooking and doing games, I'm really, really excited. And make sure you stay tuned for my skiing vlog. It will be the vlog after this. And I'm so excited to put that together. So if you want to see what I got up to, then make sure you come back next week and I'll have a nice new vlog for you to watch. Ooh, mustn't forget hair ties. I always put my hair in plaits. I find it the best way to avoid my hair getting really matted because like the snow and the ice and the wind gets into it and it's really ugh, horrible. So I pop it in plaits and I find that really manageable. I'm just thinking if I've forgotten anything. I do have like just some plain jumpers that I'm packing, just sort of stuff like this, some black and white roll necks, just some more layers and some fun jumpers. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that's it. So I'm gonna try get all of this in my luggage now. So wish me luck, but you guys don't need to see that. I hope this has been useful. I think a few things to just round up would be pack your SPF, your face SPF, do not sleep on it, it's so important. You can get a really different type of sunburn from the snow, because it's just so white and blinding and reflective of the sun. Yeah, you can get really, really burnt and you don't want to do that. Number two, layers, 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 layers. It is easier to take off rather than be absolutely freezing and not having enough layers. And number three, 
if you do have a boot bag or you have some luggage that you're taking on board with you like onto the plane then I would recommend maybe stuffing things like socks and like bras, sports bras, I always wear sports bras when I go skiing um, to try to make up the most of that because they don't weigh it. Well, I've been really lucky in that I've never had to weigh my hand luggage. If you are a little bit over on your luggage, as when you go skiing, there is so much to pack. But I hope you've enjoyed this. And if you're going skiing and you're packing right now, or you've just been, or you want to go, like let me know what you're up to. It's such a fun time. I love it. I'm really blessed to have started young and gone with some incredible groups of people, family, friends, schools, uh, growing up. And I just absolutely love it. For me, there's nothing like it. It's such an amazing experience. And I can't wait. I'm so excited. So yeah, make sure you give this a little like if you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful and stay tuned for next week where I have my vlog from Treesill, Norway. I can't believe I'm saying this when I've edited it and I'll already have been and gone but I'm very excited. So I hope you're all well. I hope you have a great morning, day, evening, wherever you are and I'll catch you in my next video. Mm -hmm.